FR Media presents Bayhawks Basketball. How you doing, everybody? I'm David Cardoza. As we get, get ready for this NJCAA Region 21 matchup between these two rivals from the southern corridor of New England, southeastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. The Bristol Community College Bayhawks come into tonight's game, the ninth-ranked team in the country, trying to avenge Tuesday's loss to Bunker Hill Community College, who is the seventh-ranked team of the country. And these two teams will face off, both with similar rec both with the same record, 8-1, as we get off of this final game before the winter break. All right, we're going to send it down to courtside for tonight's starting lineups. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Community College of Rhode Island Knights and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Fans, coaches, and players, the NJCAA, Region 21, and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. And now for tonight's starters, first with the visiting CCRI Knights. Number five, JC Santos. Number 11, Peter Wilson. Number 21, Darren Robinson. Number 24, Jason Palmer. And number 31, Oscar Etiji. And now for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At guard, a freshman, number one, Charles Martinez. At guard, a sophomore, number 23, Marcus McCarthy. At guard, a freshman, number 14, Stanley Freeman. At four, number 10, a sophomore, Zach Vega. At center, a sophomore, number four, Josh Winbush. Bristol Community College is coached by Robert Delalu. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready for this tap, between these two rivals. CCRI now in Region 21. They are part of the region now. So these two teams will be battling out for Region 21 New England supremacy. And we'll see how the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, how they bounce back. Again, I'm David Cadoza. Thank you, everybody, for watching on our live stream, on our Facebook Live, on our Facebook live stream, on the Bristol Community College Athletics page. And thank you for watching all of us. Thank you for watching us on the Fall River Access Station. We're getting ready for tip-off, and we're going to get underway here. Winbush. And we'll see who wins the tip. And it looks like it's going to be Bristol basketball. Again, Bristol coming off a, coming off a tough loss on Tuesday night. Their first loss, of the, first loss of the season against Bunker Hill Community College. Winbush flashes to the elbow, takes it up strong to the hole. Zach Vega kicks it back out. Charles Martinez for three, he gets it. Charles Martinez back in the starting lineup for Bristol, and he connects for three, and that's how we start this one. CCRI, they have a good squad this year. Was talking to the, talking to the assistant coaches for Bristol. That three-pointer is good. Three-pointer by Darren Robinson. Going back the other way, and they're going to call an offensive foul on Zach Vega. Again, if you're just joining us, Bristol 
in their traditional white uniforms with the green trimming. Oh, nice up fake. Going to the hole. What a block by Winbush. The follow is good, though. Jason Palmer had the shot. There's a three-pointer. Again by Charlie Martinez. Six to five. Fadeaway jumper from the free throw line is good. And that's number 11, Peter Wilson. And these two teams, this one looks like it's going to be a barn burner. Bristol better be on his toes today. And there's a steal. Around the back, around the back again. The little floater just couldn't put enough on it. Loose ball, and the Knights will come up with it. Robinson kicks it back to the corner. Three-pointer. A little too strong. Another loose ball, and there's, a, and there's another offensive rebound. Three-pointer. No good. And McCarthy finally gets the rebound. McCarthy puts up the floater, and he gets it to go. This one looks like it's going to be a little chippy. It looks like it's going to be a tough contest for BCC. Don't go away. Go on baseline. Dish it back. Atiji in the post. Look at this matchup. Atiji in the post. Try to go over Winbush. Get that out of there. Winbush with the block. Galloping like a horse in the open court. Kicks it back out to McCarthy. We're just getting underway. 8-7. Bristol with the lead. Winbush out to Freeman. Freeman couldn't connect. Wimbush does a great job of passing the basketball, finding open shooters on the perimeter. Corner three coming up. Rebounded by McCarthy. McCarthy does a great job of rebounding from his position. Looking to push, and they're going to call a foul on J.C. Santos. Starting lineup. Freeman from underneath the basket will kick out to McCarthy. Wimbush, nice bounce pass. Oh, Wimbush had a good thought. Try to get Zake, try to get Vega underneath, but it went went through his hands. A little bit low. Get a good crowd on hand for this final game. Before the winter break, they get it down underneath. Working his way, and nice move, nice little post move by Peter Wilson on the pass from Oscar Eteji. Yeah, that was a nice entry pass there by Eteji to get it underneath, and what great position there by Peter Wilson. Freeman, oh, the slam, the flush. Flushing it home. Freeman finding the big man, Winbush, and we've already seen four lead changes here in the early going. 10-9. Battle of these two green machines going strong. Another block by Winbush. The leading shot blocker in reach of 21 with another block. And, oh, there's a steal coming back the other way. And Winbush gets a foot on it. Heard there was some frustrations on the bus ride back from Boston after that first loss to Bunker Hill. And when you're not loosely losing, you know, sometimes those tempers can flare. And they're going to call a foul away from the ball. Looks like it's going to be on number 31, Oscar Eteji. This is going to be a physical battle between two teams that definitely don't want to lose. Only, what, 20-something miles that separate the two campuses. 60 minutes to play. Freeman, nice fake. Gets to the rack. Puts it up. Vega getting physical underneath. Just caught himself underneath the basket. Rebound by Ateji. Going back the other way. Robinson swoops to the hoop and score it. Darren Robinson for two. McCarthy, alley-oop. Caught it on the rim. Vega gets blocked. Blocked by Oteji. Robinson swings it. McCarthy 4-3. Gets it. McCarthy feeling it. 
13 to 11. Another lead change. Fadeaway jumper, no good. And Otishi tipped that home. Winbush might have got a hand on it too, and it's tied. Broadcasting live from the river. Winbush flashes up, short jumper. Can't get it to go. Going back the other way in the open court, using his body nicely and uses the window nicely. Peter Wilson. You got two athletic teams going back and forth on each other's throat. McCarthy, nice bounce pass underneath. Vega handles it, back out. Freeman for three, coming off. Winbush, aggressive, count it. I like this new Josh Winbush this year, being a lot more aggressive when he gets the basketball, not always looking to pass or. When he gets the basketball, it seems like he's attacking a lot more than he was last year. And that's the big, that's the big jump for being a freshman to the sophomore. You know, he's now the leading scorer on this team, leads the, leads the team in blocks. And he completes the three-point play, 16 of 15. Kicking it to the corner. Robinson. Bristol playing their patented man. That's a deep three, way off. McCarthy gets the long rebound at the free throw line. Jose Mercado not in the starting lineup for today's game. And there's a tip off the Vega miss. Winbush, count two more for him. 18 to 15. And Bristol will have its largest lead since they were up three, nothing out the gate. Bristol trapping in the corner. There's a three pointer. Can't buy it. And the putback, the putback off the miss by Jason Palmer. 18 to 17. Freeman, the jumper in the corner, and it's a three. I didn't think he extended outside that, outside that arc, but it's another three-pointer for Bristol. And the freshman, Freeman, has a couple of those. Stolen by McCarthy. Again, Bristol Community College looking to bounce back from this. Martinez for three, and he gets it. CM3. Charlie three ball, 24 to 17. Timeout on the floor, 12 40 to play. We'll be right back after this word. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, live from Bishop Connolly High School, the home of the Bishop Conley High School Cougars, but it's also the, the home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Bayhawks basketball, second game of a doubleheader. The Lady Bayhawks were in action earlier today, and they, they lost against CCRI, the women's team, 86-16. And now the Bristol Community College Bayhawks men's team finds themselves up 24-17, emotions high. Here in the old Mill City, getting heated in this gym. Got a good crowd on hand. Oh, and there's a pass stolen by Morris. Charlie three ball inside to Winbush. Oh, he gets it blocked. Darren Robinson with an athletic block there to block the six foot seven sophomore. You talk about Darren Robinson giving up a few some size. He had to get up for that one. 
It's a nice time block there by Robinson. That ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be Bristol basketball. Martinez to inbound. So Jose Mercado is in now. Winbush gets the double team. I like how Winbush is posting up. Draws a double team. Ten on the shot clock. Oh, nice pass inside. No foul call. McCarthy sticks with it and puts it in. And just like that, BCC up by nine. 12 to play in the first half. Getting through the defense. Putting up another block by Winbush. Loose basketball. Morris comes away with it. Boy, he hustles. Malik. Malik Morris is a hustler off the bench. Three-pointer. Tipped. Mercado couldn't get it. Both teams with similar records. Three-pointer. Air ball. McCarthy with the rebound. Oh, nice flow sit up there to Mercado. And he gets the bounce. Gets the roll. Oh, Mercado coming out the... Mercado coming out of nowhere to knock that out of bounds. Great hustle. Mercado coming off the bench today. And I think with, I think with Bristol, you have about six starters, right? I mean, Charles Martinez has been a starter in many, in a handful of games this year, and he starts today. There's a three-pointer. And right now, there's a lid on top of that basket for CCRI. They're shooting from three, but they can't get it to fall. Martinez, nice entry pass inside. Winbush. Winbush going to get fouled before the shot. It looks like it's going to be on number 31. I'm sorry, number 34. Yuta Franklin is in the game now. Yuta Franklin, number 34, is in the game for the Knights. Charles Martinez will come out. Dontel Rodriguez. Ooh. Gets it inside of McCarthy and floats it over. Franklin. Nice job there. And just like that, Bristol up 13. Trap it in half court. Three-pointer. No good. And three-pointers are just aren't going down. They are just aren't going down. And Bristol playing good defense. They are playing good defense out on the perimeter. They're not giving up easy shots or open looks. Yeah, Bristol flying to the basketball on the defensive end. McCarthy for three. No good. Coming off, the Knights got it. Ooh, getting into the lane. Oh, Winbush. They, oh, nice. Wow, what a good job there by Peter Wilson getting to the rack. Somehow squeezes it through Winbush, who I thought had a piece of it, but it ends up getting the friendly roll. Big bucket there. They needed that. CCRI had so many, so many trips up and down, up and up the up and down the court, where they haven't seen the basket, where they haven't seen the ball go in. So that was a big bucket there, going all the way to the rack and getting it knocked away. Winbush with a good defensive play there. J.C. Santos had a head of steam going to the rack, and actually they're going to call a foul on the shot. I thought it might have been just on the dribble. And they're going to call it on Josh Winbush. That's his first. Under 10 minutes to play, halfway through this first half. And the first free throw is no good. And here comes Malik Charles. Boy, Malik Charles, has had, he's had some big buckets. He's played some good defense. He's been solid on the boards, keeping a lot of plays alive. He is the engine when he gets out there. 30 to 20. Dontel Rodriguez with the basketball. Morris, that gets that pass knocked away. And they're going to call a foul on McCarthy, loose ball foul in the open court. I think. Is 
Zach Vega will come in for Malik Morris. Coach Rob Del Lou in his 10th season for Bristol. Got a good, he's got a good group of guys here. I think he's got a, guy, a lot of guys here who work hard. We'll see. We'll see what this team looks like after the winter break as Yuta Franklin goes to the hole and lays it in for the Knights. A lot of times after the winter break, the Bayhawks have, sometimes they have a different team due to academic reasons, whatever the reasons may be. Mercado, he gets yanked down. Foul by, foul on, foul's gonna be on Darren Robinson. And Jose Mercado will step to the line for two. Jose Mercado, second leading scorer on this team. And I look at the, I look at Bristol, and I look, I look at the core four. And I'm talking, when I talk about the core four, I'm talking about that man right there, number 11, Jose Mercado, sophomore, number 23, Marcus McCarthy. Both these two guys weren't on last year's um, MCC AC championship team. They were, they were on the, the team before as freshmen. And they missed, they missed last year for reasons undisclosed. But they're back this year and in the starting lineup. So I look at those two guys along with sophomore Josh Winbush, the six foot seven stalwart, and Zach Vega. That core four right there. I mean, any of those four guys can lead the team in scoring at any given time. I mean, those guys can all get it done in a myriad of ways. But that's not all you got. Definitely firepower off the bench. And right now, Bristol showing some mental toughness. Corner shot, three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by Mercado. Pounding his way in. Vega. Mercado, 15-footer. That's no good. And they're going to call a foul. Foul's going to be on white 20. All right, so it's going to be inbound underneath their own basket. Get it into Mercado. He's got some knights around him. Gets it inside. Vega uses his body. No good. That's the guy. That's the guy I called the engine. Not the little engine that could, but that's Malik Charles finding his way in. I don't know how he does it. With the offensive board and the points, three-pointer in the corner, knocks it down. That's Jalen Jackson, double J, with a knockdown three. Going to the hole and floating up there and in is Zach Vega. Over the timeline, Bristol likes a trap. Charles with another rebound. Pound for pound, one of their better rebounds on the team. Martinez to the basket. Rodriguez for three. No good. Rodriguez can make that shot. Bristol up 11. Going to the hole. And I think Charles Martinez might have committed that foul. He did. Going to be on the floor, though. Don't think it was on the shot. And actually, they're going to say, they're going to say it was in the act of shooting. Both teams have five team fouls. And looking to come into the game is going to be Josh Winbush. Winbush will come in. Charles will go out. Malik Charles, he's, he's a worker. And look at these, look at that crowd. We got a good crowd on hand. Season greetings, everybody. We got a good one, 36 to 26.
Wimbush in the backcourt helping out Martinez. Martinez now breaking this press, breaking the pressure. Martinez swings it. 15 on the shot clock. Good defense here by the Knights. Martinez gets into the paint. No good. Winbush with the rebound. That shot didn't hit rim, though. Nice pass by Winbush to a cutting Vega for two. Good job. Nice look there by Winbush with a nice bounce pass. Bristol doubling in half court. And Bristol will double. They do a great job with help defense. They'll, they'll double every chance they can get. 18 on the shot clock. 38-26, 12 point lead for the Bayhawks. Fade away three, way off. Tracking it down is Mercado. Vega. And they're gonna call steps. It looked like Vega, he, he felt the contact there and he kept going. Might have thought he was going to get the foul call there, but the referee calls steps. Martinez following the ball. And there's that trap. Oh, nice play. Way to get his hands on it, Vega. Freeman to Mercado. Nice step. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, it's pretty. Timeout. Timeout on the floor by the Knights. 40 to 26, and it's a full timeout. So we'll take a timeout. 40 to 26, timeout by the Knights. Bayhawks got the lead, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back everybody to Bishop Conley High School. I'm David Cadoza here on the call. And it's five and a half minutes to play. The Bayhawks have the lead, 40 to 26. Bristol lost their first game of the season against Bunker Hill on Tuesday in Boston. And it was a 79 to 74 loss between two top 10 teams in the country. Bristol went into that one as a ninth ranked team in the country. Going against Bunker Hill was number seven. And those two teams may meet again down the road. This one, though, Bristol's doing a good job. You know, sometimes, sometimes when a team loses a game like that, they can go in the tank. Freeman for three off the side of the rim. Ooh, look at that, all the way to the rack, showing his speed. All the way to the rack is number 11, Peter Wilson. Boy, he's fast. They'll dump it in. Mercado, oh, that's going to be, that's going to be a goal 10. Uda Franklin. I'm sorry, Jesse. Yeah, Uda Franklin. He came out of nowhere. Coach likes it. For Rhode Island. Forty-two to twenty-eight. They kick it back out. Three-pointer. It's way off. They just can't hit a shot right now. The Knights with the rebound. They're just three-point happy. Three-pointer is way off. They're trying to play too much hero ball. They're trying to catch it out. They're trying to catch everything in one swoop. Mercado works his way in. Winbush from the elbow. Can't get it to fall. CCRI, they're, they're just not showing any patience right now. Jumper from the corner, that's no good. Boy, it's been a tough shooting night for the Knights. Another three-pointer, way off. They just can't buy a bucket. 
Vega going to the hole. Superman, there he is. When Vega gets in the open court, he's tough to stop. Just so athletic and got that leaping ability going to the rack. Honestly, I think the Knights are very intimidated by Wimbush underneath there. I mean, how many blocks does he have? Five or six? I mean, he's altering a lot of shots down there. He's a force to be reckoned with. And when you take it at Wimbush, you better come correct. 44 to 28. Number four, Josh Wimbush, six foot seven, stalwart from Louisiana. Definitely a two way player. He can get it done on both ends. And yeah, I think it's an intimidating factor for other teams to go up against. I mean, they're. Missed free throw, nice bounce pass. McCarthy to Vega, two more. And just like that, it's a 17 point lead. If you're Coach Rob Delalou, you gotta be pleased responding. Bristol doing a great job of responding to this Knights team. I mean, they got punched in the face off the gate. The Knights were taking it to them. The team exchanged leads four or five times within the first five or six minutes. And the Knights were hanging around in this one. Knights didn't come in here scared, they came to play. But Bristol, Bristol made a little run there, about, half, about halfway between, about halfway through this first half. And they haven't looked back since. Forty-six to thirty, and the second free throw by J.C. Santos is good. So it's a fifteen-point lead with three and a half to play in the first half. We have excellent halftime show coming up to you at the half. So don't go away. Marcus McCarthy to Mercado. Mercado barrels in, loses it, keeps it alive. Oh, how did McCarthy get it there? To Vega for three, and he goes low. What a pass by McCarthy to find Vega. Wow. And I don't know what happened to CCRI. They came out guns a blazing, but they've unraveled since. And we are going to. All right, Coach Rob Delu called timeout. We're going to keep it here, 49 to 31. Under three minutes to play in the first half, but Bristol Community College really turned on the Jets. There was a lot of lead changes at first, and really, after taking the lead 17 to 16, Bristol went on a little run, made it 24 to 17. Knights called a timeout, but then after, after that, I mean, it's been, it's been all Bristol. And I give a lot of credit to Bristol Community College, the Bayhawks, after coming off a tough loss against Bunker Hill on Tuesday and then coming here and getting punched in the mouth, it looked like it was going to be a contest early on, like this one might go down to the wire. It still may. But Bristol doing a good job of responding here. And um, after they took, took the Knights' best shot, and they've really turned on the Jets here. The Knights have really been able, they've really been, you know, lackadaisical. lackadaisical on defense at times, and on the offense has been really been stagnant and settling for, for contested threes. And they really haven't been able to buy a bucket. A lot of misses. It seems like they're just settling for jumpers, so. That free throw miss and out of bounds, it's gonna be Bristol basketball, 49-32. Nice looking to match up, man. Bristol just moves the ball so well. McCarthy draws attention. Charles at the free throw line, no good. Knights get the ball. Santos looking to take it to the rack. And they're going to call a foul on Charles.
And step up to the line will be J.C. Santos. They're going to call a second, second foul on Malik Charles, number five. First free throw was good. That's 19 fouls on the Bayhawks, so Knights will be in the bonus here. Second free throw is good. It's a 15-point lead. Here comes a trap. Rodriguez to inbound to McCarthy. Knights trapping. Active zone here. Rodriguez. McCarthy swings it to the corner to Morris. Knocks it down. How about Morris? He likes that shot in the corner. He knocks it down. Giving the Bayhawks an 18-point lead. Oh, nice little move there. Floater. It's good, J.C. Santos. J.C. Santos for two. And they're going to call a carry in the backcourt. They... they call the call a carry in the backcourt there. So it's going to be a turnover, and the Knights will get the basketball. Inbounding will be Jason Palmer. Kicks it way out, way out on the other side in the backcourt. Good help defense, three-pointer, it's good. Boy, did, did, the, did the Knights need that one. Ooh, Rodriguez all the way, and he'll get fouled. That three-pointer on the previous play was by Dylan Durant. Dylan Durant coming up the bench with a pretty three-pointer right there, number 15. And look... It looks like Durant might have, looks like he might have a cut on that hand. As he comes out of the game now, looks like he's gonna get, be attended to by the trainer. Got a little blood there. Charles will come out. Malik Charles will come out. Rodriguez will step to the line for the front end of a one on one, and he'll make it. The foul is by Dylan Durant. Ooh, great hustle there by Rodriguez. Love his hustle, love his heart. Flying out of bounds. And it looks like uh, Till Duran over here being talked to by assistant coach. Doesn't look too happy that he's out of the game, but he has, he's, it's protocol, he's got a cut hand. Going back the other way, get it to the basket and land it in. J.C. Santos, it's a 13-point lead. And if BCC falls asleep here, the Knights will crawl back in this one. McCarthy goes to the rack. Oh, the putback by Ricardo. Slam it at home, how about that one? 56-41, to that was a big one right there. And there's a reach by McCarthy, and that's going to put uh, that's going to put Bristol over the limit, and that's going to put them in a two two shot situation here. And J.C. Santos will step up to the line for two. That's a second second foul on McCarthy as well. First free throw was good. Don't go away, ladies and gentlemen. 
CCRI has a good team. They come in here with one loss as well. And they've been solid for these first couple months of the season, so don't go away. 14-point lead. A lot of time left in this one. Only 10 seconds left here, though, in the first half. Bristol holds it for the final shot. Rodriguez puts it up at the, at the buzzer. That's going to do it. And that's going to do it for the first half. 56 to 42. The Bayhawks have the lead. We're going to take a break here. And uh, we're going to come back with the halftime show. Dom Rapal and the gang. Dom Rapal and the Get Fresh crew coming with the halftime show. 56 to 42. Bayhawks have the lead at the half. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> All right, welcome back at the half. Bristol Community College up 56-42. I'm David Cadoza with your halftime report. So the Bristol Community College Bayhawks with a 14-point lead. And they have pretty much have had a balanced attack led by Zach Vega with 13 points. Charles Martinez came out the gate with a couple three-pointers. He has contributed with nine. Josh Winbush has been devastating on the defensive end with a lot of blocked shots. Five block shots in the first half, seven, seven points. Jose Mercado with eight points, and Marcus McCarthy with nine. So as you see, a very balanced, uh, very spread around attack for, for the Bayhawks. And the Bayhawks with a big uh, bounce back first half as they avenge, try to avenge Tuesday's loss and go into the break, go into the winter break with only one loss. We're getting ready here for second half action. Bayhawks got punched in the mouth in the first five minutes. I mean, the Knights really brought it. But since then, the Knights have really been cold from the floor. Their leading scorers are J.C. Santos with 11 and Peter Wilson with 11. Other than that, not too many other Knights players really been involved in this one. All right, and we're going to get this second half started. I want to thank Dom Rapal and the Bristol Community College dance team, dance club, with a great halftime performance. With the Bayhawk mascot getting involved too. Definitely entertaining. We have a full house here at Bishop Colony High School. And Bristol with the basketball. Winbush with the rebound. Pushing it. Vega gets to the rack. Oh, he got that thrown. Blocked by Palmer. Going back the other way. Oh! Blocked by Freeman. And that was Santos getting his stuff blocked. All right, thank you everybody watching on our live stream. And, and if you're watching us on the cable network too, on this FR Media Presents Bayhawks Basketball, our last game of 2018, and the jumper is good. Rob Delu waves his hands in disgust. Darren Robinson, it's a 12-point lead, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go away. Charles Martinez coming off. Going back the other way. Boy, he's like a lightning bolt all the way to the rack. Get a stop ball. And there's another putback by Palmer. And just like that, it's a 10-point lead. Largest lead of the game was 17 by the Bayhawks. And it's a 10-point game now. They'll dump it in. Winbush. Comes up short, but he's going to get fouled. And they're going to call a foul. And they will. Referee just did tee somebody up. And they're going to call a foul, Jason Palmer. Palmer's going to come out of the game. Coach is going to take him out of the game after the technical foul. Vega will sink the front end. Second free throw was good.
And now Winbush will shoot his free throws. So Zach Vega hits the two technical foul shots. And now Winbush will come in. And he got fouled in the act of shooting underneath, so he'll get two free throws. And little plays like this, little costly mistakes, can be momentum changers. And Winbush misses the first free throw. And Winbush misses both free throws, so that didn't work out the way the Bayhawks wanted. Limited damage on that one. Here's Robinson. The up fake. Putting his head down. What a block by Winbush. Threw it away. Oh, nice pass by McCarthy to find Martinez, keeping it alive. Vega, oh, nice defensive play there by Bar Nice defensive play by Robinson. Driving and, pit and the shot, the fall away is no good by J.C. Santos. Rebounded by Freeman. 58 to 46. Vega puts it to the floor. Floater is no good. Santos ends up with it. A little hesitation move. McCarthy in the open court, going to lay it in. Timeout on the court. Timeout on the floor, 60 to 46. And we're going to keep it here. 60 to 46. So there's a lot of time left in this one. I mean, Bristol... Has a 14-point lead. But the Knights, I mean, they definitely have the talent. They definitely have the team speed. They're just making, I think they're just making bad choices on the offensive end. And Josh Winbush has definitely been a, definitely been a uh, difference maker. I mean, he is altering a lot of shots. He's blocking shots. I mean, he's doing it. So he's definitely been a force on the defensive end for Bristol. 60 to 46. But if the Knights could just hang around, hang around, cut it to within 10, cut it to within 8. I mean, this, this lead is definitely not insurmountable. So Bristol needs to put the needs to keep the foot on the gas here. Here in the second half, because there's a lot of time. There's no time to get complacent. No time to get complacent with the basketball. They need to put the foot, keep the foot on the throat, so to speak. Because eventually, eventually those night, eventually the nights, those shots are going to go down. And the Knights have the basketball right now. Here's Santos. Corner three, nice, nice defensive play, play by Freeman. Bristol does a good job of defending the three. Freeman for three, gets it. Stanley, stand the man for three. And he's got three of those today. I'm oh, sorry, two of those today. Oh, nice pass there. Nice pass underneath. Getting it to Oscar Atiji. Nice pass there by Peter Wilson. And it is a 15 point lead, 63 to 48. Freeman gets it in. Oh, using his body nicely is Winbush. Way to post up, Winbush opening himself up. Nice drop step and a lay in. Like to see more of that from Winbush. He could dominate on that, on that block. The runner off the glass is good. And that's Darren Robinson. McCarthy dumps it in. Winbush goes up. No good. Stays with it. Tips it home. So Winbush coming up the second half. Winbush getting it done on both ends. 
67 to 50, and just like that, it's a 17 point game again. Largest lead of the game for the Bayhawks. Kicking it out, three pointer, it's good, and boy, do the Knights need that one. Peter Wilson. Martinez gets it inside. Vega. And the Bayhawks keep it going. Nice pass by Martinez, lobbing it in. And Vega lays it in out the glass. 16 point game. Corner jumper. Way off. Freeman with the basketball. Gets it into the hands of his point guard. McCarthy buzzing like a bee. And he's going to get fouled by Wilson. And actually, it's going to be a number five, J.C. Santos. Wilson was in the area. They go inside to, oh, to Winbush on the pass from Freeman. Winbush gets the foul, and it will go to the free throw line. Count the two. And Wimbush tearing it up now. 71 to 53. Nice job by Wimbush on that inbound play. Getting position underneath. Getting to the spot. And now it's a 19 point lead. Bristol in control of this one. Three pointer. JC Santos connects. J.C. Santos won't let the Knights go away quietly. They're going to need him if they're going to stay in this one. Vega kicks it back out to McCarthy. McCarthy kicks it back out. And they're going to call a legal pick, a legal screen on Marcus McCarthy. And it's going to be Knights basketball. Coach Rob Del Lue calling a timeout. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college. But with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, so we took a quick time out on the floor. Coach Rob Del Lou calling a timeout, circling the troops, 72 to 56. And I'm David Cardoza with Big Stevie on the camera, doing a great job as always. FR Media, baby. All right, so Bayhawks have the lead. I mean, it's been pretty much Bayhawks since, you know, after those first five or six minutes, it was kind of back and forth. A lot of lead changes. Bristol has pulled away since and has really remained in control of this game. I mean, since about halfway through that first half, 16-point lead, but the Knights still hanging in the ballpark. I mean, some shots by J.C. Santos. Peter Wilson doing a good job, too, for the Knights, keeping this team in it. Bristol with the trap. Knocked away. Wilson in the backcourt. Lose control of it. And Bristol with that swarming defense. Going to the rack. Ooh. Franklin in the corner. That's no good. Knights with the rebound. Crossing over. Robinson gets it to Franklin. And musters up a shot over Winbush, if you want to call it that. And it's a 14-point game. Winbush from the top of the key. Can't knock it down. Winbush with the miss, 72 to 58. Go, 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 
Oh, nice little fake there. The floater way high, trying to go over Winbush. McCarthy all the way to the hole. What a block. What a trailing block there. That was Wilson with the block out of nowhere. And now it's a travel on Vega. And there you go. What a block there, trailing the play. Peter Wilson. I mean, he came out of nowhere with that block shot against the glass. 13-15 to play, a lot of time. There's a trap at half court. BCC puts the pressure on. What a block by Winbush, but they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul, and uh, Darren Roberts is going to step up to the line for two. Ugly shoes and all. I mean, if you're going to go with all pink, I can see that, but I don't, I don't like the pink with whatever else you got going on there. Free throw is missed. Second free throw was good, and the Knights cut it to 13, so the Knights hanging around here. 13-point lead, 13 minutes to go. Final game for the Bayhawks of 2018, trying to end it strongly. Nice crossover. McCarthy kicks it back out. Charlie three. No good. Rebound in the paint. Mercado thought about it, gets it inside, and it's going to be stolen away. Stolen away, going back the other way. Landed up is Wilson. Can't get it to fall, but the Knights come away with it. Jackson. I'm sorry, Jose Garcia with the basketball now. Putting his head down, going to the rack. Nice block there by Mercado. And we have a foul on the floor now. Nice to the inbound. 18 on the shot clock, three pointer. Way off, and they're going to call a foul on McCarthy on the three-pointer, on the three-point attempt, I'm sorry. And Peter Wilson's going to step up to the line for three shots. McCarthy looks surprised on that one. Looked like he uh, didn't think he came in contact with him. And Wilson, man, these are big free throws. You could cut the lead to within 10, man. And that first free throw is miss. Got to hit your free throws. Second free throw is good. Cuts this lead to within 12. So Bristol had a 17-point lead early on in the first half. Knights cut into it. Second free throw is no good. So he misses two or three. So that didn't come out as well as the Knights wanted it. Bristol had a 17-point lead a couple minutes ago. Knights cut back into it, making it a 12-point lead. And we have a foul away from the ball. Both teams creeping up there as far as team fouls are concerned. Five, five for each team. Five for Bristol, five for Rhode Island. And it looks like we get a foul away from the ball. Foul's going to be on number 34, his fourth, Uta Franklin. Wilson backs himself in. I'm sorry, Winbush backs himself in. Rodriguez, fadeaway jumper, knocks it down. Rodriguez gets on the board. That's D-Rod. 74 to 60, cross-court pass. Mercado with a good hustle there, knocks it away. Knights to inbound. Bayhawks still in that man. That's Jose Garcia, number one, at the point now. Kick it to the corner for three. It's good. Yeah. 
number 20. Seventy-four to sixty-three, eleven point lead. Ricardo over. Oh, that's gonna be another that's gonna be a goal ten right there. Can't put your hand can't you put your hand in that cylinder or in the net. Zach Vega, number 10, will come out. Number four, Josh Winbush will come out for the Bayhawks. Coming in for the Bayhawks now, number five, Malik Charles. That ball sails out of bounds. So in there right now for the Bayhawks, number 14, freshman Stanley Freeman. With the basketball now, Charles Martinez, along with number 11, Jose Mercado. Number three, D-Rod for three. Gets it! The microwave heating it up. And he can heat it up quick. Back-to-back -back baskets by D-Rod. 79-63, and just like that, it's a 16-point lead. Big three-pointer there. No good. Rebounded by Freeman. And that's how Bristol kills you. They got so many guys that can shoot it. And there's Ricardo, gets the contact. I thought he should have got, I thought he should have got the foul call. And the South Park, Ricardo for two. And now Bristol has his largest lead of the game by 18. Oh, there's a slam. Ignite. Darren Robinson with the slam. Ignite the night, baby. Wow, what a slam. D-Rod. And there it is. Steal by Santos. Santos going back the other way. Around the back. Puts it up. The tipping is good. Tipping by Oscar Ateji. Martinez flips it to Mercado. No good. Somehow ends up in the hands of Martinez. And Coach, Top, Coach Rob Delu going to get a timeout. And a well-timed timeout at that because the Knights, the Knights took the momentum there with a slam. What a slam that was. All right, we're going to take a timeout here from Bishop Colony High School. We'll be right back. 81-67, Bayhawks have the lead. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college. But with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, so we have a time on the court. Coach Rob Delalu, I thought, I thought with a good timeout right now, you know, with uh, the Knights with that, with that great dunk, BCC turned the ball over. Knights get the basketball back, and um, had another great play, like momentum building plays. And Coach Rob Delalu nipped that in the butt with a good, good time timeout. I thought, dug into his team. And I think you're going to see his team respond well. Because they cut, they did get kind of out of sorts there for a couple minutes. Coach Rob Delu stressing organized basketball. Getting back, getting back in the rhythm of things. Being organized. Setting plays. Not doing silly stuff. I think he said it in more, a better colorful way than I could express it right now. Three on the shot clock. That's a shot is no good. Pushing it to Santos in the open court. And we have a loose ball. And they're going to call a blocking foul on number 31, Oscar Ateji. Things are getting heated up in here. Nice big crowd on hand.
Bristol Community College, the defending MCCAC champions, champions of Massachusetts, winning that earlier on this year as part of the 2017-2018 season. Went to the regional final last year in an overtime thriller against Massasoya, in which they lost that one, obviously, in overtime. Massasoya went on to win Region 21 and represent New England in the Nationals up in New York. And that was a heartbreaking thriller. And, and now this year, Coach Rob Del Lu has another ranked, another top ranked team. This year, right now in the top 10, one loss. Shot by Canichion, no good. Rebounded by Re D Rod. D Rod, the open floor, all the way to the rack. And he is going to get his stuff blocked out of bounds by number 21, Darren Robinson. Three pointer by D Rod. I think that I think he had part of that tipped. I think he had part of that tipped by Wilson. Wilson, a good defender. He's a good on ball defender. Robinson breaks loose, kicks it back out. Cave for three. Now he's let down. Another three pointer by him. That man right there coming out of the woodwork. It just like that. It's an 11 point lead. It was 18. Can you believe it? So Bristol keeps extending their lead. Mercado. Bristol keeps extending their lead, and the Knights, to their credit, they won't go away. They're staying in this one. Loose ball. An opportunity to cut it to within nine. And it is. And the, the lay-in and the foul. Look at that. And Coach Rob Del Lu go right to his bench to get Winbush in there and Zach Vega. Call in the reserves. Or call in the heavy artillery, I should say. Malik Charles will come out. Malik Morris will go in. And uh, Charles Martinez will come out for the Bayhawks. And it looks like Jose Mercado... Jose Mercado will stay, will, will, will come out as well. And number 31, Oscar Ateji. Trying to make this an eight-point game, and he does. Three-point play. And just like that, this one's a game, folks. Don't go away. We've been live streaming these games all year long for the home for the home games. Rodriguez gets his stuff thrown. Cave comes up with it. An opportunity to cut down this lead even more. Here's a pick set. Three-pointer is up, and it is good. It's a five-point lead. Peter Wilson knocks down the three. It was an 18-point lead, ladies and gentlemen. Winbush kicks it back out. D-Rod for three. Nails it. Boy, was that huge. D-Rod. The microwave. The little microwave nails a three. That was a, that was a big shot. He misses that shot, boy. Peter Wilson fade away, three! Peter Wilson! Wow! And I think they're gonna call it a two. I think they're gonna say his foot was on the line. Winbush controlling the basketball at the top of the key. Winbush and Oscar Atiji. They're going to call him with a reach. And that's 17 fouls on the guest. On the visiting Knights, eight, 18 fouls, I'm sorry. Winbush will go to the line for a one and one Six minutes to play here. Dontel Rodriguez will come out. Again, big shots by, by that guy right there. He heats it up and some key moments, and that was a big three by him. But Peter Wilson goes down the other end. 
and hits a big shot. So this one, all of a sudden, this one is tight rope city. And that free throw comes up short. I mean, that's a big free throw. You're going to make those. Little stutter step, little fake. Kicking it back out. Big K for three. Oh, the, the Knights bench was ready to go nuts. And they're going to call Darren Robinson with the bump. Freeman got the rebound. Robinson bumped him. And they're going to call a blocking foul on him. That's his second. And now, now it's time for pressure situation, situations at the free throw line because both these teams down the stretch are both going to be in foul trouble. And that free throw was calmly sunk by Freeman. Bristol definitely going to need to sink their free throws down the stretch because the Knights are almost, Bayhawks are almost in the double bonus. Nine team fouls committed by the Knights. Still just six by the Bayhawks. Two free throws are knocked down, and it's an eight-point lead. Good job by the Knights to move that basketball quickly out of the trap. Rodriguez being smothered in the corner by Freeman. 12 on the shot clock. Flutter in the lane. Loose ball, a slam! The athleticism of Darren Robinson. Six-point lead. Morris. Going to fight Cutters. It's loose ball! Winbush is controlling the play, but free by Wilson finds the basket. Good job by Wilson to elude and fill the fill the footsteps of, of Winbush. Winbush looks tired. Coach Rob Del Lou calls a timeout. It's a four-point lead, 86 to 82. Wow. It's burning up on the inside here. 86 to 82, 457 to play here. Wow, what a, what a game here. Full house, Fall River, Massachusetts. And we're going to keep it right here, man. What a game. Four fifty-seven to play. And it was an 18-point lead. Believe it or not, about halfway through the second half, Bristol had full control of this one, had their largest lead of the game. We talk about momentum swing and plays, plays like we just seen, that slam. That dunk by Robinson, I mean, we've seen a couple of those monster, monster dunks that have kept that energy level high for the Knights. And now Bristol has to bear down. They're going to have to work for this one. They're going against a good opponent in Rhode Island. Wimbush catches it at the top of the key. Nice pass to a cutting. McCarthy with the reverse lay-in. Great court, great court awareness there by Wimbush. Like I said, Bayhawks looking to trap every chance they can get. Kick out. They'll swing it. Wilson for three. Can't get it to go. Fake ahead and then lost it. And then what a play by, what a play by Santos. What a heads up play there. Santos took it from Vega and then threw it off Vega. 88 to 82, six point lead. Big possession here by the Knights. See if the Bayhawks can get a stop here. Bear down on defense. Ten of the shot clock. Deep three by Santos. No good. And a rebound by Vega secures it. Knights fall back on defense. Knights playing man-to-man. -man. Boy, you don't see too many teams go against Bristol and play man-to-man -man a lot. Mercado looking to get position on Cabe. He does. Working, using that body. Puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Winbush. Winbush underneath. Can't get it. Gets his own rebound. Gets the foul. And they're going to call it on the floor. And Winbush will go to the line for two. 
And they're gonna call it, they're gonna call a foul on they're gonna call a foul on Darren Robinson, his third. And Winbush will go to the line. And Winbush gets a friendly little bounce. Extending the BCC lead to seven. Oscar Ateji will come in. He'll come in for number 34, Yuta Franklin. Second free throw, and Winbush hits both free throws. That was big. Ooh, Cabe gets it out of trouble, gets it into the corner. Drive it to the basket. Oh, what a lay-in. What a beautiful play there by Robinson. Boy, has he been huge here in the second half by the, for the Knights. Six-point game, coming up on three minutes to play. Here we go. Here's McCarthy. And McCarthy throws that one out of bounds. And that's a tough play there. Boy, that's a big play. Big defensive stop there by the Knights, and they need to get something out of it now. Cave goes out. And number 24, Jason Palmer will come in. Bayhawks like to trap, and then sometimes you get open, open players, but that was a nice block there by Mercado. Big defensive play there. Mercado catches it inside, kicks it back out. Need a good shot here, smart basketball. Get something going to the hole here. You gotta get it going to the hole now. McCarthy, McCarthy looking to blow by his guy. Loses control of it, one second on the shot clock. One second on the shot clock. We'll see what Bristol does. And you can see them blocking out. You can see them blocking out Winbush. They're not going to let Winbush beat him on the inside. As you see Ateji trying to get possession on Winbush. They'll float it in. Winbush going to knock it away. And I think the, the CCRI coach... I think he wanted the I think he wanted the uh, possession to continue. Referee trying to channel, tell him that there's a shot clock violation. They'll stop. They'll stop the clock. And uh, the Knights will inbound the basketball. Coming up on two minutes to play, we get a barn burner here. Knights doing a great job of crawling back into this one. Wilson step back three off the window. Secured by Bacardo. Knights are the Knights are running out of possessions. They've had a couple chances to step back closer into this one, and they haven't taken advantage. Boy, good defense there by Santos. McCarthy crawls out of it. Oh, another turnover. Oh, McCarthy ends up with it. McCarthy turned the ball over. And then he gets it, he gets the turnover back. Santos going all the way to the rack, up and under. Put back is good by Palmer. And it's still a six-point lead. Let the scene speak for itself. McCarthy with the basketball. Again, deep into the shot clock. Good defense by Santos. McCarthy. And he's going to pick up the foul by Santos. Santos was playing good defense. And then he commits a, he commits a foul that he couldn't, he couldn't afford to use. And now McCarthy will step up to the line to make this more than a two-possession game. Santos couldn't afford to do that. And McCarthy, 
McCarthy, the seasoned veteran, will nail down the first free throw to make this more than a two-possession game. Seven-point lead. And McCarthy makes both, and he knows it's big. Number 15, Dylan Durant will check in. Number 31, Oscar Atesha will come in. Putting a little offense in for defense. I mean, a little defense goes out, offense comes back in. Nice pass. Palmer can't lay it in. Winbush with the big rebound. And that might just about seal the deal. And Coach Rob Del Louie knows he has one in the bag here. 34.4 seconds to play in this one. And the Bayhawks may have deflected may have deflected off the Knights finally because the Knights were holding on by the tail, putting a death grip on, on Bristol. But the Bayhawks looking to shake them off here. McCarthy goes back to the line, and the Bayhawks can smell it now. And they'll look to go into this break. But 9-1. And Winbush, Josh Winbush, has a big smile on his face, but he knows that Bristol has escaped from here. Not over yet, though. Wilson, count it. And that's something that you couldn't afford to have, man. And this one, just when it seems like it's over, it's not over. And the Knights look to extend this game, and that's a foul that you could not have. And now Jose Mercado will come into the line for Stanley Freeman. Coach Rob Del Lube beside himself right now. It's just little mistakes. I mean, you look at the Patriots this past weekend, it's just little tiny mistakes. That can add up. And now it's a six point game. You know, you get to keep, you get to play. All 40 minutes, you get to play. Because you never know, a harmless, a harmless uh, lane violation like that by Winbush, you know, puts a little, gives a team another, gives a team, gives the other team and a little, just a little bit of opening. But Bristol doing a good job down the stretch hitting their free throws. Charles Martinez will hit a free throw. Mercado will come out. Thirty seconds to play, but thirty seconds seems like an eternity in this game. That should do it. Eight point lead. Santos going back the other way. Freeman. The putback is good by Durant. Six-point lead out in the open. Freeman going to the rack. He'll lay it in. And the Bayhawks up eight. Three-pointer by Robinson. This game is academic. That lay-in by Wilson. Count it. But that's going to be it. 0.7 seconds left here. We're going to take a timeout here. 0.7 seconds left. 99 93.
Okay, so we had a brief timeout on the floor. That basket's gonna count. What a pass there by Durant. Nice little alley -oop pass there to Robinson showing off his athleticism, but that's gonna do it. Bristol with a big bounce back win after Tuesday night's loss against Bunker Hill, going against a good CCRI team. And they'll beat the Knights here in the last game of 2018 here before the winter break. Bristol Community College with a huge victory. And they will go into the winter break 9-1, 99-95. All right, everybody, I want to welcome, I want to thank everybody for coming in and watching the live stream via our Bristol Community College athletics page. What a game. Bristol, it was a game of runs, but uh, Bristol holding out the Knights here tonight. And um, going to give our Bayhawks player of the game to Josh Winbush. Josh Winbush, not just for his offensive play and um, his 17 points here tonight, but for his at, but his play of the defensive end, altering a lot of shots. He was definitely a huge presence. A lot of block shots. Going to give the Bayhawks player of the game to the six foot seven. Louisiana native Josh Winbush is our player of the game. So I want to thank everybody for watching our, our Facebook live streams here in the first half of the season. And stay tuned in January and February because we're just heating up for Bayhawks basketball. Again, so for myself, David Cardoza, and Steve, <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. So, again, Bayhawks, big victory tonight, 99-95 against Rhode Island for David Cardoza. You've been watching Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. Good night, everybody.